moo poo bog mud whatever you want to call it primer bit of rub through in a couple of places but yeah that's how I roll sanding it's boring as batcher always clip up your zip ties take some pride in your work Hey guys, welcome back to DMAC Customs on the YouTube. Dave here in the garage. Uh, it's during the week, as I sort of said, I might get down here and do some during the week stuff. Because I've got some stuff on this weekend, so I won't be able to kind of do anything on the old Area 51 project. Last video, got the dash and primer, epoxy and then the high build primer, and the column and some other bits that are hanging up there above the old bomb truck. And so in this video, I want to kind of get want to kind of get some paint on the dash and those parts and some work on the steering wheel because so when I put the you know I can put it all back together and then that's done um, yeah so let's get at it Alright, so I mentioned in the last video that the old steering wheel had a couple of cracks in it, so I kind of got in there with the old uh, die grinder, that little thing up there, and just kind of ground those out a bit, created little channels in the cracks, so I could try putting some um, JB Weld in there. So now I've just got to kind of, well, I've got to get in here and clean all this up and sand it all up and get it ready and get some primer on that as well, but I've got to kind of file back all the stuff that I did smooth it out somewhat so I'm gonna get to that with a bit of probably hand filing it rather than using a power tool I just kind of want to be careful not to cut into any of the other stuff too much if you know what I mean I think this is going to be a bit of a slow process but I just kind of want to be kind of conservative in my approach to it you know so I don't want to kind of just go ripping in there with the old belt snapper 2000 or the belt snapper 1000 I just want to kind of gently bring it down a bit more control you know what I'm saying Bang my head for about the fifteenth time on that uh, glove box lid, or door, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so filed it back all the bits that I want to file back. Now I just got to get in there and do some sanding, and then we'll do some more filling. Of the this is a little bit low in places, but that's all right. There'll just be a little bit of filler on top of that. It had actually been repaired before with um, just normal body filler. You could see. A little bit of pink underneath there where they kind of just held it together with some bog but um and it had held obviously for a number of years like i think that's been blue for quite some time that steering wheel um so i don't have any issue with putting a little bit more filler back into it um if it cracks and breaks up i'll you know if it starts looking shit i won't like steering wheel won't break because it's got metal inside it but um if it just starts looking shit then i'll get a different steering wheel or try and find another 51 steering wheel you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna do some sanding <laughs> spiders in there, I wonder if they're from America, I don't know, um, so I've kind of sanded all that back with just some 80 grit, all those kind of like repair sort of bits, um, just more kind of to flush them down and give them a bit of a key to stick to, so hopefully that works, so I'm just going to mix up a little bit of Bondo, Bog, Smooth, Poo, Smooth, Bog, whatever, you know, and um, give those a little bit of a smear and I'll do those bits inside the on the 
the old radio buttons on the dash as well. I need to clear some of this stuff away. Get into that. Yep. Okay, um, battery died just as I was mixing that up, but yeah, got some smoo poo bog mud, whatever you want to call it. A couple of little bits in there and those in there. Oh, actually, there was a couple of other little dents. I'll probably have to do another little hunt around once I've kind of started sanding in there to sort of find the um, there's a little dent. I just remembered about that. There's one right there, and I did see a couple of other like tiny little knocks, like like little stiletto dents sort of thing. So I'll hopefully I'll find those when I start sanding. I've got to get some of that like guide coat spray stuff because that'll be helpful for that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so that's it for tonight anyway. I'll let that go off and uh, hopefully get back down here tomorrow. Maybe and do some more sanding. See you tomorrow. Maybe. Hey right, guys, next day. So I've just been doing a bit of a bit of a sandy sand on the um, filler that I put in last night. And it's sanding up pretty nice I reckon. It's um, dolphin premium body filler like a Stands up pretty, pretty sweet. Um, just got to try and stop myself from going too far with the 80 grit because I have a tendency to sort of go too hard with the heavy shit and then I try to bring it back with the finer shit and then end up just wallowing it all out. So I'll just carry on and get this down, just the filler, and then maybe kind of whiz over the whole thing with some, I don't know, 150 or. 40, whatever I find in the drawer first, and um, or maybe even Scotch Bright, Scotch Bright. I don't know. I'll sand it because yeah, just to be on the safe side. So I'll carry on doing this and be back with you in just a sec. Smack my head on that lid again, on the old glove box lid. <laughs> anyway, this is where we're at. Kind of working my way through, going through it with some 240. Did I just find? Yeah, 240. Um, that's what I'll kind of prime it from, I reckon. What do you guys use, you know, prime, sand your filler and that down to when it's going to have a high build primer over the top of it? Hmm? Let us know down in the comments. 240 should be right for a mechanical adhesion, I reckon. Um, any finer, and I kind of worry that it doesn't sort of won't have a key to stick to. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I haven't I haven't taken that ridge down yet. That one there. I'll do that at the very end once I've kind of got everything prepped up. I'll just take that smooth off that ridge. I left it quite sharp at the moment, but it's it's actually sort of blunts off on the how it's supposed to be sort of thing but this um light blue and the dark blue they're not the original colors i i think it was this kind of weird creamy color this dirty cream color and maybe black um there's indications that it, there was black on the steering wheel i thought it was just like that black baker light stuff but i think it might have actually been black shiny black paint as well so it may have had a black and kind of ochre greeny dirty grey mould kind of colour <laughs> I don't know what it is but yeah so but that's enough for today I'll finish this up tomorrow maybe hey guys welcome back to DMAT Customs or well, actually I'm carrying on with a, a video that I started like over a week ago now I'm like getting ready the dash ready to paint and all that kind of stuff Primer, bit of rub through in a couple of places, but yeah, that's how I roll. A little bit of spot priming on that, but I still haven't finished sanding that yet. I did get down and do a little bit during last week, but then we had a an event, hot rod event, that took pretty much all last weekend. But did have a swap meet that I went to, and I managed to pick up hole saws, all things. Um, always handy. So <laughs> I bought a box of hole saws. And a little two finger finger puller thing, but 
that's pretty junky, but um, it works, I think. Well, it didn't work on what I tried it on, but um, yeah, anyway, back at it. Steering wheel, I think, is pretty much ready to go. I was just looking at the chrome horn ring thing. I've got to do something with that. Probably paint it as well, so now I've got to prep that up. Um, looking at a little device for mounting the steering wheel so I can paint it. And weather is pretty crap um, today, and it's likely to be pretty crap for the rest of the weekend. So I can't. I don't really want to kind of like have that parked outside in the in the weather. It was out in the weather all last weekend, so we'll go and might just cover that up and kind of move these things around and hang them in different places as I paint them. Yeah, but everything's got to be sanded, so I might just crack on and do some more sanding. You don't. I don't want to see that. I'm just sanding it's boring as batshit but what i'm doing is kind of going over that with 320 did i no 240 just to kind of cut my orange peel down yeah 240 and then i've got to go over it with some 320 but i bought some stuff the other day some guide coat stuff u-pole guide coat stuff it must have like gold flakes in it because it was really expensive for what it is <laughs> i'm not going to say what it was but it was expensive for what it is but not pouring it on it's just like a quick little guide coat put it dusting it on just to see where my low spots in that are um yeah so i'll just get into some sanding and then hopefully we'll be able to start squirting some paint around the old on trucks looking a bit oh the old area <laughs> 51's looking a bit sad the old old you know run flat tire over there has gone down again so she's nose dived in that corner so it bothers me so i'll put some air in that before i do anything else <laughs> you're probably thinking what are you doing now dave but what i'm doing is and i'm making it quick and dirty stand to um, just hold this steering wheel while I paint it, you see. But I'm not sure the zip ties will be quite enough, so I've got a couple of hose clamps here that are a little bit too small. Will it, will it work? Will it come on again? It might be right. So very simple, but it's just going to have a bolt like that. So basically, I can paint it from there. So I'm not making like World War One like replica cannons or anything. So that should do us. Hopefully, that won't fall off. That's the point. I wonder if I can get this other one around there. Give it a shot, Nige. Come on, come on, get in there. Wonder. Straighten that, bend that, bend that, bend that. Be better at doing that. Not yet. It's even better than the first one. And you always learn something when you do something once and you do it really rough. The second one kind of comes along and it just improves. That yeah, should be alright. The second one, oh, rock solid. Always clip up your zip ties. Take some pride in your work. <laughs> okay, so there's my steering wheel stand. So I can then Put on something which I had something else to show you that I purchased over the last couple of weeks on the old interwebs. Some panel stands, proper panel like stand sawhorse things. These things which I have just assembled so I can put my steering wheel stand on one of those. Like so. Right, 
got some of this. I'm going to try it on the glove box lid. I just took this down for um, first time ever. I've got a couple of massive great big fingerprints in it. Must have been when I banged my head on or something and I kind of grabbed it to try and stop it or something. But yeah, I'll, hopefully they'll sand out. Yeah. But yeah, so I'll try that on this. I've never used this before. I used to just use like some black lacquer or something. I'm just going over this quite lightly with some 240 just to kind of so it shows you what that shadow coat the stuff the spray stuff does you know like it just you can see where where you've been and where you've got to go like you know you can see along here you can see you can see along here that you can see like stuff like that I haven't sanded you know so but that's just about as far as I'll take it with that 240 maybe a little bit more over here and then I'll just jump into the 320 from there, I think. primer spot prime dash the stuff that i'd rubbed through and whatnot steering wheel and my thumbprint fingerprint thing on the inside of the old glove box lid um so i just let that kind of go off for a bit i'm used to using a 1k to do the steering wheel and spot prime because it dries faster and means i can carry on sanding today it's all right like it's not bad stuff but yeah um i won't probably do that on the outside of the car if i have any rub throughs i'll probably use a proper sealer or something like that but this is i don't know well, i'm just impatient so that's why i'm doing it that way so i'll spray some of this around on the dash and then i can go over that with the um three have we got any little lighter maybe 600 maybe a quick whiz over with some 320 and then maybe hook into it with some 600 or something like that. I don't know. Normally 3T20 is all right, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those big debates on the online sort of community and the professional painters and amateur painters and they all argue about that, what, what to rub down to, but I kind of feel like it needs a little bit of a key for the paint to, to hook into. So I tend to go maybe a little bit coarser than some folk do, but I'm not doing like Riddler award type stuff, so which is pretty evident <laughs> being where I am. So carry on. Is that enough of that? Oh, try to do a light spray and it just splatters. Sanding, it's boring as batshit. Hey guys, so just been had some lunch and I'm gonna 
I don't think I've actually explained my plan for painting the dash. I'm going to do a two-tone dash and two-tone on the steering wheel and stuff. So, kind of like how it used to be, that inner section round by the gauges and the glove box lid that's going to be one colour and the main dash will be the body colour. So, I was just going to do it white, but just like pure white looks a little stark against other colours. So, I'm going to do some little bit of tinting and just kind of turn it into a very kind of slight off-white a little kind of creamy kind of look to it hopefully with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange we'll get somewhere it's just to take that super bright white edge off I don't want to kind of make it a color it's still going to be white but it won't be like white 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 you know what I'm saying so I might start with just kind of mixing up a little batch just to see whether I'm going to be happy with it and then uh, yeah take it from there make the decision slopping it around all over the joint but there's some sort of straight pure white rag I'm just going to do some dips into here and see if I can get what I'm after this is a kind of a bit of a greeny yellow which might be a kind of good way to go with um you know that greeny kind of bluey color on the on the car you know what I'm saying so it's just already just taking the white out of it with just that little bit of yellow it could even be a little bit much I don't know if you can see the difference in that. It's actually not a bad kind of colour as it is, but I don't know if it's the colour I want. I'll try a little touch of orange in there. Not as much as I just put in with that yellow though. Oh no. Nah. It's pulled it way too far in the wrong direction. It's kind of turned it into a, like a peachy, pinky colour. Way too much. Yeah, it's still way too much of that orange in me now. <gasps> oi, oi, oi. I might even be able to pull it back. Okay, so much for making up a, a little batch of it. Okay, so a little bit creamier than I want at the moment, but <laughs> I've kind of mixed up a little bit too much, but um, I've got two options. I quite like it with that little bit, little bit more yellow kind of tone to it, tint or tone, whatever you want to call it, than the orangey kind of vibe. So it's still a little bit too creamy for what I wanted, but... I chuck the rest of that white in it might be enough to just bring it back to to where I want it to be so in for a penny in for a pound so they say it's not bad <laughs> around anywhere that isn't just actually on the firewall? I don't know. Alright, I might actually tip it back into there and mix all the rest of that white in there and just do the whole flippity flop back and forth. Alrighty, so that's my colour. Glad I didn't sort of <laughs> Go straight into the main thing. It took basically all the white. Yeah, just sort my camera out. Um, I'm glad I didn't kind of go straight into just putting the orange and stuff and that into there. 
Um, I should have known better not to put too much in there basically, but yeah, doing that little little bit kind of told me that orange mm, changes it a lot, changes stuff a lot, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much ready to shoot the first colour, which is like on the bits of the steering wheel and the centre part of the dash. Um, I just got to kind of tack rag all that, bought some tack rags too, how's, how's that? I used to have a roll of it, but I can't find it. I don't think I used it all up, but I possibly did. Um, so, just got to tack it all down. I'll get my gun and everything ready before I tack anything, and then uh, squirt some of this colour on there. Siding. <coughs> Alrighty, so as usual, nothing quite goes according to plan. Spray gun, spraying awesome, but the lid, I had a shit fight even getting it on and then it wouldn't seal, so it was dribbling and it was distracting me and splattering stuff everywhere. Finally got it down and on, um, and then when I was finished, I couldn't get it off. So, well, I got it off in the end, but you know what I'm saying is it just doesn't screw on and off nicely and create a good seal it did the first time i used it it's like it's swollen or <laughs> shrunk or something where half of it swollen the other half shrunk i don't know um running out of day to kind of i'll let this all kind of go off and sort of sit overnight before i mask off for the um the other dash color hopefully these two colors look good together um it's kind of a little bit more creamy than I was anticipating, but it is what it is. It's on there now. I haven't got any more white to bring that back. But could go and buy some more white, but no, not going to do that. I'm just going to run with what I've done. Heaps better. Right, so using my scientific powers of deduction, I deducted that the um, the kind of thread pitch was kind of too tall on both sides. And it was just too tight. And it just would not do up or get undone and stuff. So, modified. <laughs> modified the DMAC customs way. Just get in there and like cut some bits out of it and see what happens. But there we go. So... That's good because it's quite a nice little spray gun. It actually sprays quite nice for a cheapy, I reckon. Probably if a professional would probably go, that's an absolute piece of shit, but um, good enough for, for me. I don't, hope it doesn't make that noise. Cool. Talk tomorrow. There we go, my own special blend of cream. That sounded really bad. Um, my own special mix of custom cream for the old Area 51 project. File that away safely in the back room. Okay, so next day, um, came down uh, after I signed off yesterday and I actually masked off, masked up, masked off, Ma did some masking dash steering wheel yep and i've just been round and given everything a final wipe down and now i'm going to start shooting the the color so 
wish me luck. Just for a quick reminder, I'm not a professional, obviously. Thank you, Pete. Should really grab a rag. Colours on, just got to unmask, and it's been on for probably an hour or two, I suppose. It's flattened off quite nicely. I had to go out for a, for a little bit. Um, so I unmask this stuff, and then start shooting the clear. And I need to get that glove box lid because I've got to shoot that too. And there's something else. Oh, the horn ring part. So let's shoot that clear, little bit of clear onto the back of that, but that's not too much of a biggie. But yeah, so far, so going down alright. Blushed off a little bit. Um, it's a little bit cold still, so but I wasn't worried about too, that, that too much because it'll um, it'll come back around with the old, you know, the clear coat. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, okay, so um, check it out. Unmasked. Um, that's how it looks. Now I've got to shoot some clear. There's a bit of masking marks on that thing. It should be all right. Um, so I've got to shoot that and shoot all of this and uh, some clear. So get at it, I guess. I might spend a little bit of time before I go nuts, you know, playing with the old settings on the old spray gun, the pressure and stuff like that, just to kind of, I don't know, hopefully do a better off the gun job than I traditionally do. <laughs> so. Wish me luck. One coat down, um, I'm going to go ahead and do another three, maybe three coats I guess, that should be enough, like it gives me a bit of clear room if I have any whoopsies, hopefully I'll be able to um, cut and polish them out, more so on the dashes like, and maybe the glove box lid, but the column and the steering wheel and those other little bits and pieces are not quite so critical, you know, like, but I kind of try not to make a mess of the dash because I don't really want to be 
kind of cutting and polishing on that because that'll kind of suck. But anyway, carry on. Well, guys, um, that's all that all that clear and whatnot done. A little bit orange peely. Hopefully, it'll flatten out a bit more. Um, I've just kind of unmasked and whatnot. It's a bit dusty on this side, and I'm made a boo boo. Um, I didn't close off these block off these holes well enough, and some of that epoxy etch has come through and is now stuck to the bits of the firewall that I um, I'm not going to be repainting. You know, um, so. Yeah, I'll have to try and figure out how to kind of polish that off somehow. Um, that'll be right. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for, for another day. Um, got dust all over the dash at the moment, and I was vacuuming around the place and managed to smack. Is that stuck on me? No, it's just sitting on there. Um, managed to smack the dash with the um, vacuum cleaner. It's a bit orange peely on the dash, so hopefully it'll flatten out a bit more, but... Um, I kind of made a bit of a cock up with my mix on my like second coat, or, no, yeah, starting my second or third coat, I can't remember now, third coat. I mixed it too heavy and I didn't thin it enough and yeah, it was just kind of like doing some weird shit and I noticed it on the steering wheel and I thought, what's going on there? And then I kind of carried on <laughs> and before I kind of really figured it out. I did the right thing and just thinned it out and just put more paint on top of it, more clear, so hoping it would kind of flow out a little bit more. Um, hopefully it does. Um, otherwise I might have to kind of like let that kind of really sort of set in for a month or so and then um, do some cutting and polishing on that. I'm pretty gutted about that little ding on the, uh, on the dash. That might end up getting some pinstriping or something on there. I'm not going to repaint it. It's not that big a deal to me, um, you know, if it was the whole car was a, you know, to a, I don't know, a different standard, then I would worry about that. you got to draw a line somewhere, basically, it gets to the point where it just gets, you go around and around in circles, redoing stuff and redoing stuff, and you've got like half an inch of paint on everything, and then it, the doors won't shut, you know? <laughs> um, but, on the whole, pretty happy. I think the steering wheel looks pretty cool in those two colours. Not 100% on the cream on the dash, but I think once all the chrome and that goes on there and it gets all kind of, you know, a bit more filled out, I think it'll look alright. Um, but yeah, a little bit orange peely on, but but gutted at that. But uh, it'll it'll hopefully flatten down. And I thought I had my line pressure sorted on my on my spray gun. And it was fine on the colour, but on the clear, on the colour, I sort of set it, pulling the trigger and set my pressure, to, and it ended up, I thought it was about 25, but it ended up, checked it again later on, and it was about 20 when you had the trigger pulled, and so I thought I'll ramp it up for the, well, I was halfway through the clear before I figured that out, and I kind of ramped it up for the last couple of coats of clear, and it made a huge difference to how, how well it sprayed and stuff, because I... You know, I was struggling on the bigger areas. The little bits and pieces were kind of all right. You just kind of pour it on and it just flattens out. But when I kind of was working around the dash, I was kind of like having <laughs> a few problems. But that's uh, it's how it rolls. But yeah, so that's where it's at. Looks all right at certain angles. Doesn't look too lumpy. But yeah, other angles, <laughs> it, looks, it looks quite lumpy. But yeah, but gutted about because I got overspray on the engine and that as well. I thought that was all well covered, but all that, you hear that? That's like, that's like Papamart Beach, even right up here. Man, it moves around that shit. But um, yeah, so I've got to do a bit of cleaning on there. Can't even wipe that stuff off the engine at the moment because I'm out of lack of thinners. Um, Use the last of it on that clean up. And yeah, so I'll leave all that to kind of kind of give it a set up and harden up. There's a few little nibs and shit like that in the paint as well, obviously, because, you know, not exactly in the dust-free environment, but close. <laughs> it's it's not, not, not too bad. It's not a dirt floor, so <laughs> it's, it's one up from a dirt floor, I think. Again, progress, I guess. 
kind of happy-ish with it, kind of a bit disappointed in other areas, but yeah, I'll move past it and get on with it and stop focusing on it, you know, and I'll be on something else that I can sort of do a half ass kind of half job on it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we'll have a half decent car at the end of it. Okay, so managed to bring that back a little bit with a like a grey scotch bright. I don't know what kind of grit that is, what it means, other than that's finer than the red. Um, and a bit of a hand polish um, with the old rag and my hand and the polish. It's probably all right as it is now, like once all the booster and all that other kind of crap goes on there, you, well, it won't really be that, you know, anything that's left over won't be that noticeable. Maybe, but anyway. It's better than it was anyway, so um, it's not all dry and scaly and that now. But yeah, a bit disappointed with myself. I didn't realise that overspray was going to carry so far through and stay wet and stick on things. So I'm going to have to get some more lac thinners and see if I can clean it off off the uh, back of the motor and stuff. It's not a lot, it's just enough to be annoying and look kind of shit. Um, but that is this working in... <laughs> Yeah, I just didn't think of it, and then working in my environment, which is, you know, dirty, dusty, not quite a dirt floor, but far out, she's not far off it. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of how it rolls, you know. Don't really like owning shiny cars, um, for this reason, you sort of, you ding them up and do something, and yeah, you get halfway through building it, and you scratch it, and you got to fix it, and, you know, then as soon as you get on the road, you scratch it, did that to my Plymouth, um, Brand new paint job hit the side of the garage door on the way out of the garage before I'd even got it street legal. It was the day I was getting it street legal actually. Yeah, another story for another time, but um, you know, I'd rather have something that's a little bit scruffier to be honest. So we'll, uh, we'll look into that later. <laughs> but I like having a nice interior, so yeah. <coughs> Why well, I'm so kind of disappointed that I smacked it while it was soft with the vacuum cleaner. Or the amateur. I should have just left it alone. And it's starting to flatten out a bit now that some of that orange peel is starting to come out of it. All my other pieces done. This looks quite cool. I'm kind of eager to put the chromey bits back on, but I have to contain myself. Actually, strangely, the glove box lid actually little few little nibs and that in there, but what do you expect? <laughs> you know, it's not quite uh, the dust-free environment that you'd normally expect to be painting a um, car in. Um, and, but yeah, a bit gutted about that little ding I put in there. Uh, if you can see it, you can see it in the light there. there. Damn it. Um, I'll let that, I'm just I've got to contain myself, I just want to kind of get in there and see if I can fix it or do something with it, but no, I've got to leave it to harden up well and truly before I um, get in there and make it worse or whatever. May end up masking off the dash and painting it again, but hopefully not. Uh, if I can get it, you know, to lay down a bit nicer, that little ding, I might, you know, might just do a little pinstripey thing on there or maybe a little bit of lettering or something like that just to pay homage to be careful when you've got new paint around. You spend so much time not really caring how, you know, banging into the vacuum cleaner and shit like that, and which is what I did. I vacuumed the, the roof and it <laughs> fell through the window and hit the dash. Um, you know, you kind of like banging into it, bumping into it, leaning on it, and then when you start making stuff shiny, you've got to get out of that mindset of being a rough bastard and trying to be a bit more careful with, um, you know, not banging everything up and being such a rough bastard. So, yeah, I've changed my evil ways. Anywho, um, that's that's it for this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, um, hit the subscribe button, that'd be cool. Um, on the Instagram and the Facebook now. Signed up the old DMAT Customs on the Facebook the other day. Um, got one follower, that's me. So feeling a little bit lonely over there all by myself, but um, it's all linked up to the Instagram, so one or the other, you know. I'm just basically, whatever goes on one goes on the other pretty much. Uh, at this stage anyway, until, you know, maybe I get something more exciting going on in my life other than
the Area 51 project. And yeah, as always, uh, thanks for watching. And like I've said many times, I'm not a professional at this, so don't judge me too harshly on my painting abilities. Uh, the, I, I'm, I'm probably better with a buff than I am a spray gun, so um, yeah. So making excuses for my shitty workmanship choice. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, till next time, take it easy and peace.